We have real tobacco for um, offering to Mother Earth for the medicines. Hawk Caribou and her sister Myrtle O'Brien are Cree from the northern community of Sandy Bay, Saskatchewan. They were taught traditional medicine from their mother and other family members. The teachings have been handed down in their family for generations. My sister and I would like to uh, to uh, honor and and give thanks to my mother, my late mother who passed away. She was the one that. Um, always took a, told us about the medicines. Their mother managed to keep her language and traditional medicine knowledge even though she went to residential school. She taught us the language, she taught us the medicines and my mother was a residential school survivor and she was uh, actually beaten to sp from speaking her language and practicing her culture. The sisters took us for a tour in the city of Saskatoon to identify traditional medicine that is literally in our own backyard. Here, Caribou tells us about white willow. You can use the leaves, but where the most potent uh, medicine is in the inner bark. And like I said, I don't want to disturb this plant because we are in an urban setting. She says it's the bark that is potent. In the spring, it, you could easily peel it back and you could dry the bark. And you could powder it and use it for painkiller. It's, uh, it's what, the, the inner bark of this white willow is what they used um, for aspirin. Many of the medicinal plants can be found in the northern boreal forest. Caribou says that white willow can be used if you have the flu and can be prepared several ways. You could just put uh, the bark in a tea, like uh, boil the, the water and, and uh, let it steep for 20 minutes and you have your, your tea, your liquid, liquid aspirin. There are many techniques that are used to prepare these plants as medicine. They can be prepared as teas, tinctures, poultices, or salves. Myrtle makes her salve with spruce and other plants. The salve is, is used for um, eczema, arthritic pain, arthritis, and pain. And it's uh, made out of the spruce salve. I got a little picture here of the salve. It's um, really good, like I said, for bed sores especially. Both sisters have been passing on the knowledge to people by offering workshops and going into the classrooms. They don't want the knowledge to be lost. I go to schools and I do herbal walks. I also um, teach them how to, we do the harvesting and the packaging right from the, the, far, the forest, the drying process and the packaging and the sisters only harvest what they need and they are both open to teaching people their knowledge. Priscilla Wolf, AP10 National News, Saskatoon.